what's up so today is gonna be more of like just like kind of like a little challenge for me and what I'm gonna try to do is I'm trying to get crops to grow and I'm gonna have I already have like the crops I'm gonna try to grow picked out already and um, I'll show you how I, I can get it so let me let me start with that I'll explain as I kind of go along um, so I'm in the unreal Epic game store right now and uh, what I want to do is I want to go into the fab here then click start exploring and I'm gonna look up crops not crop top uh, farm crops and the fourth one here is a free option and you just click on it and then you you can add to your library but um, all you need really need to do is download it and that will download the file that you're going to be just importing into the project. So let me just close out of this and this. And I, because I already have it open, but let me get in here. Control space to open that up. And you can just drag this in directly into here. So I can just take this FBX folder and I can just. Well, you have to extract it first. So you hit extract and then take the folder that was extracted and you're just gonna drag and drop it in here. Close. And then you import. And it should import the entire file. And um, I'm gonna use this wheat crop right here. But anyway, so now you're caught up to kind of like where I'm at in terms of like what I already know of what I'm gonna do. And now the rest of this is just gonna be kind of me improving my way through this, more like me figuring it out. If this doesn't go well, then you probably won't even see this video, so whatever. Uh, so I'm going to create a blueprint class for this thing. Uh, and I can click actor and I can go BP underscore I'm just going to call it a plant. Double click on it. It'll take me here. I'm going to dock this up here. Save. So we really already have kind of like the static mesh, except it's going to change. So wait, let me create a static mesh here. And I'm just going to call it plant. And I'm just not going to put anything in this spot because this is going to change depending on what stage it's in. So I'm going to go into event graph here and I'm going to delete this stuff because I think I'm just going to need this event tick. Well, I'm definitely going to need this event tick. So I'm going to delay for like a second. Uh, let me um, add, I'm going to add a, it's like the plant, plant time, <laughs> I don't know, uh, and then I can add this, I can make this float here, and for every duration th of this going up, I want to get this plant time, and then I want to add my right there add a one here and I can just drag it onto here and it should set it so this is going to be the new plant time okay so every time that happens I'm going to add one onto it and then I'm gonna need a branch here. So I wanna determine if this is currently, um, gotta think about this, less than or equal to, if this plant time is less than, this plant time is less than or equal to five. 
this being the bigger number. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So if this time is less than or equal to five, if that is true, uh, I actually might create a separate custom event for the actual plant itself. So um, let me do custom event plant stage and that just requires me to take the static mesh here and set static mesh yeah um mesh assets it's going to be three different things so i can do a select let me add another pin and it should be wheat one wheat two and then wheat three and our wild card i'm actually just going to create the wild card stage um, so it's going to be like plant stage. Yeah. Um, plant. I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> maybe I should have named this something different. Plant stage fits so well for that, but whatever. Plant life. And then I can make this an integer. And I'll just drag this onto here. So now that I have this set kind of like this, this should change based on whatever the plant life is. So if I make this, if this is true, that it's less than or equal to this, this should be the first plant stage of life. So I would put, um, let me grab this. I would set this to plant stage zero. But if this is false and it's greater than whatever this is, I can, uh, it's gonna be another branch. And that condition, if you click on this and you click do um, control and then D, you can duplicate. I wanna make this 10. This is the condition here. I'm gonna attach this here. And if this plant time is this, and if that is true, I can drag this on here and this is going to be one. So now is that's false, branch. And you can see like, kind of like cascading down, but um, you can kind of see like the logic to this. Control D, drag this onto here. Now I'm gonna make this 15. Then I'm gonna make it the last plant life we have on there, which is two. And I know we have three plant lives, but um, plant life zero counts as one on here. It has to match the options on here when it comes to this stuff. So zero being the very first option because the first option on this list is option zero and that's good for that well i feel like there's something else i need to do i mean whatever let me put this out here and see how it looks and see if this actually gets made into a video. Because if it doesn't work, then I'm not making it a video. <laughs> Maybe I should just make things like this a video. All right, I'm not seeing anything pop up. Wait, let me see. End. All right, so nothing occurred. 
What am I messing up here? Let's um branch. I'm setting that is true. Oh, right. I didn't call. I didn't call the actual function itself. All right. How do I do this? Let's see. Um, plant stage. All right, plant stage, and then plant stage. Compile and save, and then if I hit play, is that it? Oh, that's tiny. Bro, let me scale that shit up. Oh, wait, plant. Let me l click the lock thing so that everything changes with it. I'm gonna scale by 10. It's gonna be probably pretty huge, but that's fine. All right, let me hit play. Oh, five seconds go by. Nice, last stage. Hey, those are some good looking grains right there. But uh, yeah, that's kind of all I wanted to do. So um, yeah, have a good one, bye.